Hello, so earlier today I was watching this video on the Rainmaker module and there's a section here where they put guitar into it and I thought that just sounds absolutely amazing so if you're anything like me I tend to watch a lot of videos on Eurorack hardware even though I don't use hardware just to get some inspiration really and get ideas that I can try and do with VCV and plugins so I wondered if it'd be possible to make something a bit like this in VCV Rack so let's have a go Okay, so I've got a fairly blank patch here and I'm actually going to use rings to demonstrate this because both my guitars need the strings changing at the moment and they sounded horrible. So you know what rings sounds like? It's a bit like a guitar anyway. And the module I'm going to use to do this is actually a polyphonic delay. So if I find the poly delay module, this one here. Now, if you haven't seen a Rainmaker, it's a hardware module that looks like this. And it's basically a 16 tap delay with a filter on each tap and a pitch shift and also a resonant filter with 16 taps. So we've got all of those kind of component parts in VCV. So the reason I'm using a polyphonic delay is because I can use a filter polyphonically, have a different filter on each channel. And also this module has got a poly spread, which gives you a delay between the, uh, the repeat on each channel. So a delay between the delays, if that makes sense. So the first thing we need to do is make the signal polyphonic. So I'm going to use a utility called Polymalt, this one here. And what we can do with this, we can take a monophonic output, which rings is, and we can put that into there, and then we can set the number of channels. So all that does, it copies the signal onto 16 channels. So if we put that into the mixer now, you might need to turn this down a bit because you've multiplied it and it's going to be louder. And you can probably hear the delay there slightly. I'll just turn up the feedback. And now if I increase this spread, you're going to get more of a gap between the, the delay on each channel. Now it's probably clearer if we actually spread those delays out in the stereo field. So I'm going to put it into this stereo spread module here. And I'm going to increase the time a bit. And the feedback. Maybe not that much. Okay, so that's kind of giving us a multi-tap effect. And the next thing we need is a filter. So I'm going to use the liquid filter. And I'm going to try bandpass mode, I think. So I'm going to take the output from poly delay. I'm just going to zoom in a bit, actually, so you can see this a bit more clearly. And I'm going to take the output from the delay into the filter and then use the bandpass output then I need some way of changing the filter value on each channel. So I'm going to get another module called Polycon in Bug Audio. And what I'll do with this module is just randomize it so we get a different um, value on each channel. I can show on the scope actually just quickly. Now if I get the polyscope, So you can see if I adjust these. Oh, I need to turn the channels up. So I want 16 channels. And then you can see you've just got a different output on each channel. So now if I put that into the filter, into the frequency input, and then turn up the resonance so you can hear that a bit more. So you can hear you're getting a different filter value now on each channel. Let's turn that back up a tiny bit. We turn the uh, poly spread down a bit. Then increase some of these a bit more. Okay, so that's kind of that's starting to sound a bit more like what we want. Um, but we do need a comb filter as well. So the one I'm going to use is actually just trying to move these out of the way. 
Uh, I'm going to use the XFX filter from Blamsoft. Uh, this filter is absolutely nuts, by the way. Uh, but if you go onto the modes here, there's a comb, and you've got positive or negative combs. So I'm going to use a minus comb and just swap that there. And then I'm going to take the output from the liquid filter into the comb filter, turn up the resonance. Again, I'm going to bring that down, and then I want to uh, increase the amount that's been changed by, then use this signal again from Polycon. Now that's giving a kind of a resonant comb filter effect as well. So obviously there's a lot of different things you can try with this. You could try maybe um, low pass instead, see how that sounds. Maybe a tiny bit more resonance. I think if you take it much past about 69%, it starts whistling, which is slightly annoying. And then you could also use the second semiverter there. If I... Um, Get this LFO here and then connect the volt per octave output. That's going to make the LFO polyphonic as well. So I'll just show you what that's doing. So you can see you've got a different um, sine wave on each channel. Um, I probably don't want the range. The, the polycon output is quite a wide range. I think it's a full 10 volts. So I'll just grab a VCA. Now I'm going to bring that down to about, I don't know, 20%. Uh, that just means we're not going to get an LFO on one channel that's kind of crazy quick or stupidly slow. Okay, now if I take that signal and modulate this. So that's one thing you could do. You could also try using sample and hold. So the good thing about the, um, the BOG Audio LFO, this one here, it's got this stepped output, which is essentially sample and hold. And so if I just increase the frequency, you can see what that's doing. So you've got this stepped output on each channel. Um, and we can try that as well, see what that sounds like. And maybe stick that into the comb filter as well. So yeah, it's maybe not exactly the same, um, but I think that's quite a nice effect. So I'll put this um, patch up on patch storage and you can download that yourselves if you're interested and uh, have a play around and let me know what you think. It's not perfect, but it's about 600 bucks cheaper. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Cheers.